on to Steve's weekly vlog number 53. It is a brand new month and again another brand new week as it's now Saturday the 1st of February 2020. What you just saw there was uh, some photos which were from uh, some new emojis which will be coming soon uh, to uh, smartphones and tablets uh, very very soon so expect to find those emojis on your phone and tablets very soon um, and of course there was also a couple of photos there of the Animal Crossing themed Nintendo Switch console which will be coming to the UK on March 20th 2020 as well so there we go uh, there we go. Anyway, welcome to the weekly vlog. It is Saturday morning. I am currently walking to work at the time being around about 10 past 5 at the time of recording this weekly vlog. Just got into work and just about to have some breakfast for breakfast there. I've got peanut butter on toast with an orange and a flask of tea. Look at this. Kirsty Laura liked your post. Kirsty Laura liked your post. Kirsty Laura, Laura, Laura. Honestly, look, all this. I've been spammed by Kirsty overnight on Instagram. So it's Saturday afternoon and I'm here with Kirsty. Hi. Hi. You okay? Not too bad. Yeah. You good? I'm all good. Where, where are we going off to today? Southampton. And what are we going to do in Southampton? I don't know. Good. A little whiskey, food, we do a Just have a bit of a wander around. Yeah, maybe we a certain little DC store that I'd like to enter <laughs> into. <laughs> She's a big fan of Disney, just to let you know. Um, maybe see if I can see a baby Yoda, maybe. Oh, see if you can see like the Baby Yoda merch. <laughs> so yeah, we're currently on our way to Southampton at the moment. We're just on the train. Uh, we've just uh, carried on going from Brockenhurst. So I think the next stop's our last stop actually, anyway. Um, so yeah, so that's what, I'm, uh, that's what we're doing at the moment. Oh, I've got hamburger, some chips, and a crappy latte thing. And here's Kirsty. What did you get? I got a big, big Mac. A grand big Mac with some chips. Large chips and large chips. McDonald's taught me that, and basically said to get it. <laughs> so you decided to get it. Oh, quite well. <laughs> oh. It's Sunday night and I have just got home from Basingstoke because I went to Basingstoke today after work to see my nephews uh, for a little while. So uh, yeah, so I've just got home from Basingstoke. I do apologise that I didn't vlog anything this morning or anything like that. It's because it was raining and I even forgot to vlog about breakfast this morning. But obviously you guys would have known what I had for breakfast because I did go to work today. I worked from 7 till 1 today. Another interesting fact about today is it's the 33rd day of the year and it's also uh, 333 days to go until 2021. Peppa Pig's longest standing uh, voice actress Harley Bird has stepped down from the role of voicing Peppa Pig at the age of 18 years old. Uh, she's been playing, she's been voicing uh, Peppa Pig for the last 13 years making her the longest standing uh, longest serving voice actress to voice Peppa Pig uh, in the children's TV series. Uh, but meanwhile it has been announced that nine year old Amelia uh, B. Smith will be uh, taking over the role of Peppa Pig uh, very, very soon. Netflix has confirmed that Adam Sandler will be appearing in another four Netflix movies. Brexit took place on Friday night with celebrations across the country, including fireworks on Friday night at 11pm when the UK left the EU. Today is known as Global Palindrome Day, which means that the date today is the 2nd of the 2nd, 2020, which can be read forwards and backwards. The next time that the date can be read forwards and backwards will be on the 12th of the 12th, 2021. 20, uh, 21. <laughs> Monday afternoon, just made some lunch. For lunch today, I've got some bacon flavoured instant noodles. I'm also having some cheese puffs with some chocolate digestives. I've also got a Lucasade as well. And on the TV at the moment, I'm currently watching Friday Night Dinner 
on Netflix in the living room. It's Monday night, let's take a look at the top 10 official charts for the UK uh, this week uh, for you. This uh, between the 31st of January 2020 and the 6th of February 2020. So coming in at number 10 is Roxanne by Arizona uh, Zerbus. Number 9 is Someone You Love by Lewis Capaldi. Number 8 is Everything I Wanted by Billy Elish. Uh, number 7 is Life Is Good by Future featuring Drake. Number 6 is Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa. Number 5 is Own It feat uh, by Stormzy, Ed Sheeran and Burner Boy. Number 4 is Godzilla by Eminem feat Ju uh, Juice World. Uh, number 3 is The Box by Ro uh, Roddy Rich. Number 2 is Blinding Lights by Weekend. And finally at number 1 is Lewis Capaldi with Before You Go. So there we go. That's the official top 10 charts here in the UK for this week uh, from the 31st of January uh, 2020 to the 6th of February 2020. Of course, the uh, top 10 official charts for the UK will be back again on next week's weekly vlog. Okay, I've got into my pyjamas and now I'm just about to lay in bed and give Kirsty a video call via WhatsApp. Good morning, it's Tuesday morning. I'm just about to do a 7am till 4pm shift at work today, but before I do that, I'm just about to have some breakfast. For breakfast today, I've got peanut butter on toast with an orange and a flask of tea as well. Tuesday afternoon, just uh, coming down the road now from uh, the bus stop uh, as I've just finished work and I am currently just com coming down the road on my way home now, currently listening to The Wanted as well with lightning on my headphones at the moment um, and yeah, there we go. Just about to get out my work uniform on this Tuesday afternoon. It's Tuesday afternoon and I'm just currently taking Buddy out across the back field. Look at him go! Go on buddy! Go on bud bud! Tuesday afternoon just topped up my chinchillas food and their water in their cage. The video game The Sims is now 20 years old. Toy Story 2, one of my childhood movies, was released in the UK 20 years ago today. So happy 20th anniversary to Toy Story 2. Good morning everybody and welcome along to Wednesday. It is Wednesday morning. It's currently 7.25 at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. Now let's take a look at what's going on outside my window this morning. Oh, it's looking pretty pink, pinky-ish out there and it's looking cloudy. But it's nice and dry though which is the main thing. Anyway, so it is Wednesday morning and I'm now just about to get dressed. So I'm currently on my way to uh, Winton, I'm, it's becoming a weekly thing now um, because basically I'm going off to Winton, I'm walking to Winton to go to uh, the Parklands and Heatherstones, Weatherstones pub in Winton uh, to meet Kirsty when she finishes work at 9am, well she has a break in between uh, work so she finishes work at 9am and goes back at half past two so basically um, I'm seeing her this morning for a Weatherspoons breakfast, which we've been doing now for the last couple of weeks. It's become, like I say, a weekly thing now. Uh, so yes, that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm also currently listening to some music on my Bluetooth headphones as well. I'm currently listening to Harry Styles' second album called Fine Line. Why am I so out of breath? I don't know. Look at this car coming up. Look, it's a Red Bull car. Look at that. Oh wow. Oh, look at my latte. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, you're not allowed to sit here. This is uh, Stephen Kirsty's table only. <laughs> well, I'll just find that table. No! <laughs> Don't do that, please. What's that? Am I? You really think I'm terrible? No comment. <laughs> I got a large breakfast. You got a large breakfast as well. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> With oh black pudding as well. Mm -hmm. mm, nice. So it is Wednesday afternoon. I'm just currently walking to the bus stop with Kirsty, <laughs> and I've got something to say. Actually, me and Kirsty 
we're not just friends, are we? I don't think we're even on that. Um, we're in a relationship. I think they get they freaked out. I just want to say something very quick, Kirsty. I love you. I love you too. See you. Okay. Good. I'm glad. So yeah, that's what I just thought I'd say is me and Kirsty are together. She's making me happy. I'm hopefully making her happy. I, I swear to God, I hope I do. Um, but yeah, so there we go anyway. Just about to have some lunch for lunch today. I've got chicken flavored instant noodles, along with some bacon rashers, some roasted salted cashew nuts, a Lucasade, and I'm also currently watching season 22, episode one of The Simpsons via my iPad. The Mandalorian's getting a season two, which will be coming to Disney Plus in October 2020. Marvel's WandaVision is coming to Disney Plus in December 2020. Marvel's The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is coming to Disney Plus in August 2020. Marvel's TV series Loki is still on track to be coming to the streaming service Disney Plus in 2021. Lilo and Stitch is getting a live action dash CGI remake and it will be a Disney Plus original movie. Uh, the production on that movie will be starting in Hawaii in autumn 2020. So we should expect to see the film come out on Disney Plus at some point next year. The Disney president, Bob Iger, has announced that Star Wars movies uh, will be put on a back burner for now, of course. So it does mean that the Star Wars movies are officially on a hiatus for the time being. It's Wednesday afternoon. I'm just about to empty and refill the dishwasher now. Just about to have some orange juice, which is smooth with no bits. Thursday morning, and I'm taking Buddy out for a quick walk across the backfield. Buddy. Whoa, Buddy. Come here, buddy, buddy, buddy. For breakfast today, I've got ch chocolate pillows. Just made myself a cup of tea. <laughs> Watching I season 23, episode one of The Simpsons on my iPad. Okay, I've got my coat on because I'm just about to head out the door now to go and see my support worker because I thought I was going to be seeing him tomorrow, but clearly not. He's messaged me today to say that I'm uh, meeting him today at 10am. So, I'm just about to head off now and spend uh, four hours with my support worker. Thursday afternoon, watching The Simpsons on my TV in my room. So it's Thursday evening, just taking Buddy out for a quick walk around the black backfield. Um, now... On this uh, Thursday evening on Steve's weekly vlog number 53, let's have a look at some footage of me as I'm going to be going to Buzz Bingo in Bournemouth uh, with my mum. So without further ado, shot via a iPhone XR camera. Let's take a look at some footage and a montage of me at Buzz Bingo. Let's take a look. So there we go, that was my montage of me at Buzz Bingo earlier tonight. Anyway, it is Thursday night and I've got home from Buzz Bingo and I've also just taken Buddy out for his last walk of the evening as well. Just made myself a cup of tea. Just put my Bluetooth headphones on charge. 
just about to get into my pyjamas. Just about to shut my curtains. Just about to watch a movie which is based on true events and it's starring Tom Hanks in this movie. It's called A Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood which I'm currently watching on my TV in my bedroom. Watching the movie Jojo Rabbit on my TV in my bedroom. Friday morning and I'm watching The Simpsons on my iPad. Let's take a look and see what the weather's doing outside this morning. Oh, and it's looking like a really nice, dry, warm, sunny day outside on this Friday morning. Anyway, now though, I am now just about to get dressed. Friday morning, I'm taking Buddy out across the back field. What are you sniffing, boy? No, not my camera. What are you sniffing? Buddy. Hey, what are you sniffing? <laughs> just made myself my first cup of tea of the day just about to have some choco pillows for breakfast Toy Story 4 is now streaming on Disney Plus over in the US in a statement on his social media pages Philip Schofield has come out as gay Disney are planning to launch Hulu internationally as early as 2021 now that it has full operational control of the streaming service. Hulu is a streaming service which is only available in the US at the moment. Time for us to have a look now at how many steps I've done this week. So without further ado, let's start with last Friday which was the 31st of January 2020. Let's take a look at this. On the 31st of January 2020, I did 9,154 steps in total. Then we move on to a new month, which is the 1st of February 2020. And this was actually the day when I went to Southampton for the day. And then, as a matter of fact, I think this is the most amount of steps I've ever done so far this year. I did a grand total of 36,000. 303 steps in total for the 1st of Feb 2020. We then move on to the 2nd of February 2020 and I did 18,864 steps in grand total. On the 3rd of February 2020, I did 18,983 steps in total. On the 4th of February 2020, I did a grand total of 23,857 steps in total. On the 5th of February 2020, I did 9,519 steps in total. And then finally, we move on to yesterday, which was the 6th of February 2020. And I did a grand total of 15,289 steps. And how many steps will be back again in next week's weekly vlog? Activision has a new Crash Bandicoot mobile game developed by King. Uh, and there's a new Crash Bandicoot title due for release soon. And it is available uh, for mobile platforms. Simply titled Crash Bandicoot Mobile. The game is developed by King and looks set to be a runner. As you would expect while the game hasn't officially been announced. The mobile games page is live. And it shows numerous pieces of artwork for you to feast your eyes on. And screenshots as well. Um, now... In fact, there is a tweet uh, here which says Crash Bandicoot mobile game revealed, investigation by myself and at Motuera. Uh, the game can be signed up for now, it seems. Uh, the way the link was found was by searching the name on Facebook after previously being a fan of the Facebook page tied to the Brazilian ads. So there we go. Activision has also announced a brand new Call of Duty game which is set to be released at Christmas 2020. Whether or not though it will be on the brand new Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 when that gets released at Christmas 2020 is yet to be revealed. So of course you may have known that uh, going around at the moment is the coronavirus and it seems to be making a really big impact in terms of gaming uh, and I'll tell you why because it has been reported that due to the impact of the coronavirus that's currently spreading around the world at the moment uh, it, it could be it could mean that the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X could be delayed. 
And not only that as well, but Nintendo have also recently revealed that due to the impact of the coronavirus that's going around at the moment, uh, it has been revealed that uh, there could be a delay in terms of the brand new Animal Crossing themed Nintendo Switch, which you guys saw at the beginning of this week's weekly vlog. Uh, that could be delayed in terms of shipment around the world. Coronation Street celebrates its 10,000th episode with an hour-long special on ITV tonight at 7.30pm. A sequel to the 2019 movie Knives Out has been officially announced and it's been hinted that uh, the movie will be getting a 2022 release window. Daniel Craig is set to return uh, as his character in the movie Knives Out sequel. LaRue's brand new album Supervision is available to purchase on CD and all good retailers and is also available to purchase via iTunes and uh, Google Play Music. Uh, you can also stream the album itself via Spotify, Amazon Music, App Apple Music and YouTube Music as well. Anne-Marie has a brand new single out called Birthday which you can stream via Spotify, Am Amazon Music, YouTube Music and uh, Apple Music. You can also purchase the single via iTunes and Google Play Music. Okay, I'm going to end the weekly vlog here. So thank you very much indeed for watching. If you've uh, enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. And if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please do uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well by clicking the subscribe button down below, okay? Anyway, that is all from me. Coming up for you next week, uh, I am going to be going to Flirt Cafe. I'm also going to be going to Seven Bone Burger as well. Uh, I've also got some uh, blog posts as well, which I'm going to be promoting throughout my weekly vlog uh, next week week as well um and well obviously i'm going to spend some more time with kirsty as well and if you're very lucky you guys if you are very lucky then i would definitely stick around and watch the beginning of next week's weekly vlog i have a very good feeling about the beginning of next week's weekly vlog i'm not gonna say why all i'm gonna say is let's put it this way the weekly vlog doesn't start on Saturday morning. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, that's all from me. So thank you for watching. I um, do apologise that it's a very short vlog this week. Um, but there we go. Anyway, from me, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.